Well, here's something kind of cool today at the garage. An old CCM tandem bike. Look at that, two-seater. And this bike is not in great shape right now. It's uh, been out of commission for quite a while and sitting outside. So, oh boy. Tires are pretty cracked up. I don't know if that can be saved. Pretty rusty. That hub is not bad. The back gear hub is busted up. You got a lot of rust on the handlebars and so on. So, good old CCM bike though. I think what I'm gonna do is just strip her down right now and uh, see what kind of shape the whole thing is in. See if there's anything I can do with it because rather than get rid of it, I'd like to restore it and actually be able to ride it. So we'll give it a whirl. Okay, well I got the front, uh, front fork off here, not fork, the front uh, wheel and the handlebars. And not too easy, it was really rusted on there solid, but come in here, take a look. I'm just using the wheel. Here's the uh, handlebars, pretty rusty, but it's, it's really light surface rust. So if I put it on the wheel and I give it a good polish, rust comes off pretty good. It's not gonna be perfect because it's pretty banged up. But what you can do is after you polish it, you can put a coat of uh, that chrome polish on there, the waxy stuff, and it'll keep the, uh, the chrome from spotting up with rust again. And don't leave it outside, which I did for like two years. Plus you can see things like this horn here. You can, you can polish them up on the wheel there and get them looking new again. So the plan is, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to strip the bike down. There's the uh, front fender. I'm going to strip it down and give it a repaint. I think I might make it just black because I want it to look kind of vintagey, retro, like 1910 type of thing. But uh, I'll keep stripping parts and polishing away here and we'll see what we can get to today. Hey, I'm actually kind of impressed. Parts are actually coming up pretty nicely. Dude, that's still hot from being polished. But, uh, considering how much rust was on there, it's actually not too bad. I mean, it's, you can see it's a little bit scratched up, but big deal. This must have been chromed very thickly because the chrome isn't, uh, either the chrome is wearing off and I'm seeing raw metal there, or I'm not polishing through the chrome. Sometimes if you polish through the chrome, you start to see copper under it, it starts to turn gold. But this stuff's so thick that it's not doing that. So that's cool. Anyways, a little bit of progress today. Got the handlebars all polished up. And uh, maybe tonight what I'll do is go get a wire wheel and I'll start working on some of the body work, taking the uh, paint off it. All right, I got the second handlebar polished up. <coughs> it looks pretty good. Now, about these seats. These are actually high quality leather seats made by something of England. So they're pretty nice. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna polish up the chrome from here to here. I'm gonna take them off. I'm gonna hopefully take off the leather, pad them out a little bit more, and maybe I'll spray all this stuff in here black, flat black. I don't think that can be polished up, but it can be colored to look better. All right, so that's the next step I'm gonna do.